Brian, your mama said she went that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm going to just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? Now, I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you broke and living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple of interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Seth Co., and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with a job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody gotta pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager, capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama find out I had to walk home. And she's gonna ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. Oh, well, let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay, and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit you say to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Kyrie, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit. Kyrie, I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up! Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what. I'm going to rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. Oh, there goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm chilling. They good. They just sitting in here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. <laughs>